There's an awful lot in the book, obviously, far too much to, to cover in one day. Um, so what I did was I picked out what I thought were exciting bits that would appeal to children, told them in the character of old Bert, a character built on loads of the old characters I knew when I was nine years old. 1954 I came to this village and there were loads of old Berts. And I looked down and it looked really good down there. I thought, well, it looks a bit of fun. So do you know what I did? I jumped in it. You know, old chaps who'd been in the village all their lives went up the pub to play dominoes in the evenings, went down the fen to do their bit of work and, you know, chewed their backy and smoked their cigarettes and and that's what they were like, you know, string tied round the trousers. Um, sons of the soil, basically. Right, do you go to the old blacksmith when you're walking out? Do you yeah. go and watch the old blacksmith? Um, no, no, don't you go? Cool, we used to go in there and the old blacksmith would have a horseshoe and he was banging it, he made it all red hot and he was banging it with a hammer. Then he put it on the old oss and uh, when it was on there, he gave the old oss a clip on the backside, sent the old oss off home, found its way home on his own. I thought the older children could cope with some scenes that I'd taken from the book, some little interesting anecdotes and little bits um, that again I thought would interest children and made them into little scenes that they could improvise. Ah, oh, finally! Can we have the keys to the session now so we can end light? I'll, I'll send my daughter up to get them. With the younger ones, I, I thought some group work would be a good idea. So, you know, I, I took them through the experience of being land girls arriving at the village, being billeted in Swaffenprior House, which was their hostel, 60 of them together, with only four baths, hard work for only 10p a day. Yeah, well, two bob it was then, you know, down, down the fens. And just try to sort of let them have the experience a bit of what it really must have been like. Okay, you look, get up. I have no nonsense. I get you down that fen. I know it's cold, I know it's snowing out there, I know that. But you've got work to do. It struck me with great force when they were going out, because they were talking about having sausage casseroles and hot chocolate. And these things have always been available to them. They can't imagine a world where these things are not available. You know, no, they didn't go back to the hostel and have hot chocolate and sausage casserole. They went and had lumps of stale bread and bits of spam, you know. When you get to down that fen, you're going to find rows and rows and rows of carrots, sugar beet, taters, and they all need picking. If we don't tell them, they're not going to know. They're not, they can't see what's buried here in the village. I don't know, it's, it's a continuity, isn't it? Because we all build on what went before. And if you don't know what went before, you know, it's just a bit sad, I think.